good morning good morning and very good morning welcome to the show welcome to geography okay today is another controversial topic it's not controversial actually it's just uh, it's just kind of a misunderstanding between the photography community and it's about zooming people think that uh, if it's a crop like if you do cropping is actually zooming which is incorrect cropping is cropping zooming is zooming these two are totally two different things do not get confused that if you are going to crop any image you are zooming it's not uh, cropping is just cropping and basically this this phenomenon happens usually when we talk about from full frame moving from full frame to crop sensor cameras that's automatically uh, kicks in that 1.5 or 1.6 multiplication factor and people think that ah if you are shooting at uh, uh, 200 so ultimately uh, you are going to show if you are shooting 200 mm lens on a crop sensor 200 multiplied by 1.5 that's around 350 something or uh, let's say 100 so it's going to be like 150 150 mm so you are basically cropping it and that's totally wrong i remember i was having an argument with uh, one uh, guy and he was saying that i was shooting uh, 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 with 750 mm i said 750 mm there is no lens with 750 mm so he said no i was using 500 mm actually on a crop sensor so i was like okay it's a 500 mm lens not 750 and he was like no no it's 750 mm and again, I tried to explain him that it's basically a digital crop on the full frame sensor. If you digitally crop that image, you will get equivalent angle of view of 750 mm. But in reality, you still use that 510 mm lens. You never used 750 mm lens. Again, it's just a misunderstanding. So, never get confused that if you are going to crop like this big image if you can see me all the way here this big image and you are going to crop it all the way up to here okay so I am zooming I am not zooming at all right now I am still using that 50mm 1.2s lens which is exactly on the tripod it's not moving at all all right so I basically digitally zoom 200%. So you, what you are seeing right now is 50mm, which is digitally zoomed to 200%, makes 100mm equivalent angle of view. Okay? It's not zooming. It's digital crop. So I still use that 50mm lens. So what you're seeing right now again, it's 50mm which is digitally zoom, which makes you impression that you are seeing me right now at 100 mm. You see, you got my point. So how I learn, how I'm going to know that what is optical zoom and what is digital crop, how we know the difference, the way it's very simple. Uh, that's called perspective. So when we talk about uh, optical zoom okay everything changes from perspective from 14 mm if you start moving 14 mm 920 mm 24 mm 28 mm 35 mm 50 mm 85 mm 100 135 200 300 400 500 600 800 so these are the typical focal lengths non focal lengths that we know every step that you move forward from 14 mm or let's say 11 mm because I like Canon have this 11 mm lens. So if you, you actually let's talk about from fisheye perspective. Fisheye is like 10.5, all right, or something like that, 8, 8 mm. So imagine you are moving from 11 mm onwards and you are shooting me from 11 mm perspective and everything around me, behind me is just 
black right now but if i am shooting outdoor everything going to change my perspective is going to change the more you are going to change the focal length okay so at for at 11 mm you will see everything all right the more you are going to move forward from 14 mm 11 mm so let's let's say you jump to 20 mm so you are basically zooming optically zooming and the perspective behind the subject is going to change same goes, same goes for if you move from 20 mm to 50 mm then you are getting close to the subject so everything around you know at the extreme end will be excluded from the frame and the thing behind the subject is start getting compressed is getting start getting flat start getting flat i will try to put example actually just to make sense uh, hopefully and uh, because you know there, there are tons of examples uh, where you can see how the perspective the even the face perspective is going to change from 14 mm to 600 or 800 mm it's very difficult to show but I hope we'll get some kind of GIFs available on the internet where you can see that from from ultra wide all the way to tele zoom the, pers the background perspective is going to change so everything the more you are going to increase the focal length the more compressed the background is going to be that's the rule but in digital zoom it's not like that the digital zoom regardless if you are using a crop sensor lens or even if you are having 50 megapixel camera and you are going to crop that camera to make a good composition to make subject more you know relatable that's not zooming that's a crop because nothing is changing whatever the focal length that you used is done image is done image is taken from that particular focal length you are not changing the focal length all right so you are just cropping so cropping is not zooming the optical zoom there's a huge difference in optical zoom your background is always going to change from per, from angle of view perspective 14 mm is like 120 degree and 600 mm is like 4 degree so from 120 degree all the way to 4 degree or whatever it's it's a huge difference the angle of view is changing from this to this so in digital zoom there is no angle of view changing whatever the lens that you used it's it's done you now going to crop the image so that's what happened especially when you're using a full frame lens on a crop sensor bodies whatever you are seeing is basically crop of the digital sensor so if there's you have a full frame sensor and you're going to move that to crop so basically you are you basically seeing this part only this part so that's what it is do not confuse the zooming with cropping cropping is not zooming cropping is just a digital crop you are just cutting cutting the frame you are not doing anything else except cutting the frame what you have already been taken or you are going to take if you are using a crop sensor camera crop sensor camera is basically a smaller sensor which gives you a narrow angle of view which is 1.5 times or in canon terms 1.6 times narrow angle of view all right but again whatever the lens you are using it's there it's designed for a bigger full frame sensor but you are using on a smaller sensor so whatever the angle of projection that lens is going to make the crop sensor camera is going to take only a middle part of it not the whole angle of projection of the full frame lens so that's what it is that's why you you see a narrow part when you see the narrow angle of view you think that oh it's uh, i am getting 750 by shooting using 500 lens no it's just the angle of view with cropped angle of view uh, it's not the original optical zoom because 
the background perspective is not compressed like 750. Nope. You know what? Let me arrange 800 mm and then I'm going to shoot with 500 mm and then we are going to compare side by side and see how much difference it's going to be. Or perhaps that's going to be too much extreme. Let's try to make it something more simple over the lower focal length. Let's say from 35, let's say from 50 to 85. Yeah, 50, uh, 50 mm multiplied by 1.5 or 1.6 that equivalent to 75 to 82 mm, somewhere like that. So let's shoot with, let's shoot with 50 mm and then we we'll shoot with 85 mm. Yeah, this will give a clear perspective how the the zoom optical zoom works because if we are going to use the 50 mm full frame on a crop sensor it will act like 85 but in reality it's still 50 mm so the background compression of that won't be the same as you will see the 85 mm on full frame that's what going to be let me try to arrange the example and let's see if I'm able to arrange the example. I'll put this thing on the video right now. If not, then no worries. All right. So this is uh, basically a quick demo I created in order to show you guys uh, the impact of the different focal lengths and how basically the zooming affecting the background the compression in the background that's really important uh, as explained earlier that that zooming is not cropping because in cropping you are basically uh, uh, you are just cropping the image it's not affecting the uh, background compression so in this series of four images i'm going to show you how the zooming is affecting the background so what i tried to do i tried to uh, keep this subject this uh, this uh, spray can uh, into this size all right and i took the shot uh, at different focal length so i started with 200 so that you can see it's 200 over here then uh, so this is the overall compression i can see so as i'm going to zoom out uh, from uh, 200 to 70 i used 70 to 200 so uh, what is going to happen? Uh, you are going to see more of the background, more over here, more over here at the background. So this is the 200. So everything is compressed. Uh, this is 135. So you start seeing more of the background. This is not going to happen in a zooming. Uh, so sorry, in digital cropping. In digital cropping, you are just going to see whatever has been captured. Uh, this so you are start seeing more of a, a background because I used now I'm at 135 now this is 105 as it so now I am 105 mm and you are going to see more of the background over here left and right so you see more of the this blue area over here more of the uh, empty area over here then I am at 70 mm so now you're seeing more of this and more over here and the background is also start you know uh, spreading so you, the background is spread more because i'm keeping the this uh, can at the same size so you see this 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 so 200 135 105 70 mm again 70 mm 105 135 200 so this is the zooming if i'm going to let's suppose if I'm going to crop the 70 mm image, let's suppose if I'm going to crop it, let's say I'm going to crop it uh, like this. The compression over here and here is still the same. The distance between over here and here is still the same, which is not as equal to 200 because 200, uh, this distance is totally separate. As you can see, it is not happening in 70 mm, which I cropped it. So this is the 70 mm cropped. And this is the 200 mm. So you see the distance. So that's why the zooming is not equal to digital crop. The whole idea of this video is this that do not confuse zooming with cropping. Cropping is not zooming. 
they are two totally two different things because of the background perspective compression that you will get in zooming optical zooming you will never get the background compression perspective change or background compression in digital cropping or digital zoom you never get that i don't know why no nobody talks about that on youtube nobody i haven't seen a single video which mention this thing they do mention okay uh, uh, cropping you can crop to get the angle of view but they never mention about the background compression i haven't seen anything like this so i thought to make a video and just to share uh, with you this knowledge that's it yeah i'm going to wrap up this small video yeah it's comparatively small compared to my average videos thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in future with some new content till then take care bye